Bob in Xenia, Ohio writes, and he says, I've recently put together the most revealing system I have owned in 50 years. Yes, good job, man. I don't have a dedicated circuit. However, the outlet is grounded and it's in good shape. I have my electronics plugged into an Isotech power strip. I've paid close attention to my power cable layout for EMF. And when the music is paused and my ear is near the tweeter, I hear a low hum. Hmm. Coming out of the tweeter? Okay. Sitting in my seat, it isn't heard, but a frequency analyzer uh, app on my phone shows a spike at 60 hertz, which I doubt is coming through your tweeter, but we'll talk about that later. With the music on the spike, uh, with, uh, it doesn't show up, of course, because it's in the background. What are your thoughts? I recently have purchased, uh, as a side note, Octave's two new CDs. Wow! With an exclamation point. I've been a big fan the last couple of years, but these take the cake. All right. Thank you. I, uh, boy, you know, I can't, I can't talk enough about Octave Records. It's so exciting to me to be involved with that recording studio and learning all about microphones and man there's a lot to learn i the art of recording is you know people come and say how do you know about all this stuff <laughs> well i've done it for 40 almost 50 years so you kind of pick up some of the tricks right and uh you know i used to design every piece of equipment that ps audio ever made and you know over time I slowed down designing, I became more of a spokesperson. I let the old guy out in the pasture and didn't tell him. So yeah, you kind of get it. But wow, it's really, really cool getting to know all this stuff about recordings. Okay, so hum, we have a whole section on our website. If you, if you go to psaudio.com, you'll see our how to find, fix, uh, find and fix hum. We get thousands of hits a week on that. In fact, if you do a search, we, we have these things where we look and see what our traffic is on our website. And in general, if you type in how to find and fix hum into Google, uh, we are the number one search result because we have a really good set of tools there. And it even has some examples. Here's 60 hertz. Mm. Here's 120 hertz. You know, one is a buzz and one is a hum. Both have very, very different causes. So I would recommend going to our how-to section or just type into Google, find and fix hum, and, and you'll be taken right to our website. Okay, so it is extremely unlikely it has anything to do with your power or your plugs. Uh, in fact, I'm going to just tell you it's got nothing to do with that. Somewhere in your system, a piece of equipment has hum, and that's what you're hearing. So we know the speakers can't have hum because they can't make sound until something tells them what to make. So what you'll see when you go to this uh, how to fix your hum section, it's actually pretty simple. It's process of elimination. So you start at the speaker. Now we know which is almost silly, right? A speaker alone doesn't do anything. So the next thing you do is you, you, you hook up the power amplifier through its speaker cables, but you disconnect the input to the power amplifier. So the, nothing of the system is hooked up. It's just a power amplifier and your speakers. And you turn that power amplifier on and go put your ear back up. Is there a hum? If there is, you got a problem with your amp. Plain and simple. You need a new amp. You need your amp fixed. Or don't worry about it because who cares, right? You can't hear it in your listening position. That would be, that's, that's what I would do. But anyway, and then if, if there is no hum, that means your amp is fine and you keep working and adding products back in. You add your preamp back in, no sources connected to it, nothing. This is really important. All the time, people we're, we're so lazy sometimes. You know, they'll say, no, I, you know, it, it, I, I, I follow those instructions to the letter. Really? Yeah. Did you disconnect the sources? 
well, no, because it can't be the source. I, you know, bah, ah, ah, just stop. Stop. Don't even talk to me. Take it off. Follow the frickin' instructions to the letter. It's really important. So the preamp alone, all alone, hooked up to the power amp, is there a hum? If there is no hum, one by one, you add your sources and you follow that process. And at some point, all of a sudden, the hum, she's a gonna appear, because you know it comes if your system's together, so we just do it piece by piece. And that's the way to do it. And you narrow it down to the piece that is causing the hum, and then we can talk about, well, what do I do about it, okay? And you can email me and I, I'll, I'll be happy to help you out, okay. Whew, there you are. That's how to fix hum. Okay. Thanks for the question. Good luck with your system. Take it easy. Thank you.